Hi, welcome to this quick tutorial video on Desmos. So in using these tutorial videos on the other apps, I'm gonna show you a few different apps. Obviously, there's thousands of millions. These are some that I found to be the most useful across the most classrooms, uh, really clean, really easy for kids and teachers to use. So Desmos, if you do a search in your app store, looks like the green button with some graphs across it because Desmos is in fact a graph um, app or an interactive graphing calculator app. It's not isolated to calculator, but uh, you'll see it here. It's also web-based, so you can use desmos.com. Uh, this is nice for kids because it is mobile. Uh, not everybody has graphing calculators. Um, this also has more, a little few more features than maybe a graphing calculator would have. So um, here's your graph. Uh, simply to, if you want to create a graph. So this is obviously math and science teachers. Um, you know, uh, big in that realm and probably older kids, um, not necessarily maybe for younger kids, but again, not all these work for everybody. So, you know, you can just do a quick, simple, you know, y equals three X, and then we can do all kinds of things with zoom in, zoom out. If I tap on the graph, it shows up, doesn't show up. Um, so we see that there. Um, there's the settings sprocket here, um, where I can go in and I can actually then like change my lines change the color, change if it's dashed or dotted. So there's lots of different things. I can also hit the table button, which shows me a table of values. Um, I can come in and I can switch that. Um, you saw uh, to some different settings there. Um, I have examples. So in the top left-hand corner here on the three bars, um, it pulls up lots of different examples of different things. So for example, let's say I wanna hit this circle. It actually pulls up and shows me the equations for those, uh, which if you're not, you know, maybe upper level math, that doesn't mean much to you. But one of the coolest things is I can come in here and I can do these sliders and I can simulate what happens as I change the values of those. So this is really great um, hands-on um, experimental, experiential learning for kids. One of the things you see a lot on this is they Desmos does all the time these drawing contests where kids make pictures out of graphs. And so the way that they figure out how to make all these different shapes and different things is by coming over here and looking at these examples of all the different shapes and lines and shadings and all kinds of things that they can do. So uh, the examples window. Now the last thing um, and we'll go back and we'll go to just for example, we'll do a saved graph here that I've got is the plus button. And with the plus button, you can actually add a function or expression, tables, notes. But one of the coolest things you can do is you can actually just add an image right in from your folder library. Okay, so let's say we go ahead and we go ahead and put my baseball kids in here and you can see. But then what you can see is it's got the center the width, the height, the opacity, and I can actually come in here and I can edit those. So once again, I can move those around. So I can go ahead and I can do it like a deep press and I can move it around that way. I can grab the corner and I can make it bigger, but I can also manually adjust it in here by typing in the center or typing in the width. Again, that experimental experiential learning of what does it do if I do this? What happens if I move this or do that? So again, Desmos interactive grapher um, for your phone.